All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're going to be solving a problem from transportation. The problem states the station at the point of curvature, PC, is given to be 5 plus 1, 0. That's right here, 5 plus 1, 0. And the radius of the curve is 150 feet, R. What is the station at PI? What is the station here? If we were, there's a vertical line here. What is the stationing when we reach that point of PI? So um, we're given R, radius is 150 feet. We know the station at PC, which stands for point of curvature, PI is point of intersection, PT point of tangency. And we're given, uh, the, well, we're not given, but you should see the two tangents. We're also given an interior angle of 60 degrees. So given these variables, you know right off the bat that we're dealing with a horizontal curve. Horizontal curve. And you need to make sure you know the difference between a horizontal and a vertical curve because they'll throw these at you and you need to know what you're dealing with. So we're given R. If you're using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, there's a couple equations that we're going to use. One of them is equation 78.12, which states station PC equals station PI minus T, or you could rewrite that as I'm just going to say PI equals PC plus T. And that's exactly what we need. We need to find the station for PI, but we don't know what T is. And the equation for that is going to be equation 78.4. And we can find out that T equals the radius times the tangent of that I angle, uh, that interior angle, 60 degrees, divided by 2. So if I solve for that, T is going to equal 150 feet times the tangent, 60 over 2. And that gives me 86.60. So we know PC, we know T, let's just plug it in. And PI, station at PI is going to be PC, which is 5 plus 0 plus 1, 0 or 510 feet plus the 86.60 feet which is 596.60 or 5 plus 96.60 the numbers to the left of the plus indicate how many hundred foot stations we're going so we were going five hundred foot stations plus 96.60 feet and that answer is D so that is how you solve this problem. Hope you enjoyed that. Head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks about solving the PE exam as well as a nice practice exam that you can purchase there. Thanks. Bye.